Hey guys in this video we're gonna be checking out the top 5 best plasma cutters under $500, that are available on the market for their true quality. I made this list based in my personal opinion and hours of research and have listed them based on popularity, quality, price, durability, user opinions and more. If you want to see more information in the updated price you can check out the description below and also make sure subscribe for more reviews. Ok so let's get started with the video. Starting at number 5, we have the Lottos LTP5000D. The Lottos LTP5000D won our editor's choice as the best overall plasma cutter under $500. The 1 half inch cutting ability is significant given how compact and lightweight the plasma cutter is. Importantly, Lottos 1 half inch rating is actually the thickness it can cut cleanly. This cutter is rated to sever metals up to 3 quarters of an inch thick. You'll need to have a 220 volt outlet in order to maximize your cutting depth, but the unit includes a power cable so this is relatively easy. There's also very little assembly required since the cutter comes with everything you need to connect to your air compressor's regulator. One of the unique aspects of this plasma cutter is that it uses a non-touch pilot RC tip. Since you don't have to touch the tip to the metal, your electrode and nozzle last far longer than with other cutters. However, this can be a slight downside as well, as users found that the cut is wide compared to other plasma cutters. Longevity is an issue with this cutter, as with most plasma cutters under $500. Some users found that the machine worked reliably for years, while others had units that burned out after a handful of uses. Lottos offers a one-year warranty, but won't repair defective units after the warranty period. Moving on at number 4, we have the Forney Easy Weld 25120P Plasma Cutter. The Easy Weld from Forney is one of the best plasma cutters for home use. Forney thought of just about everything for this plasma cutter in terms of ease of use. It comes with a power source so you can easily wire it into any 120 volt home outlet, as well as a regulator so you can plug it into your air compressor and go. Even better, it includes an 8 foot long ground clamp. So grounding your plasma cutter is simple. The included cutting torch is designed to be dragged directly across the metal surface. That uses up more consumables per cut, but it also allows you to use the sheet you're actively cutting for balance and precision. Cuts are narrow and it's easy to get them straight. The biggest downside to the Forney plasma cutter is that the duty cycle is extremely low, just 35%. That means that after cutting for 3.5 minutes, you need to let the cutter rest for another 6.5 minutes before starting the next cut. There's a temperature indicator on the unit to warn you when it's close to overheating. At number 3, we have the Display 4 Top Cut 50 DC Inverter Plasma Cutter. The Display 4 Top Cut 50 Plasma Cutter is the perfect first plasma cutter for new metal workers and shop owners. The cutter is surprisingly inexpensive for the features it offers. Most important, it can be connected to either a 110 volt or 220 volt power source and uses an inverted technical power switch to regulate the current. There's also a screen so you can monitor everything that's going on in the unit while you cut. Assembly can be a bit complicated. Everything you need to run the plasma cutter is provided, but it all needs to be installed before you can start making cuts. Helpfully. One of the pieces included is a ground clamp to ensure that you work safely. The 60% duty cycle is relatively good, if not amazing. But, this cutter comes with built-in overheating protection, which is a huge plus. The cutter will automatically turn off if you approach the point of damaging your unit. The only major downside to this cutter is that it's heavy, weighing at more than 37 pounds. So, it's not the ideal choice if you need to move your plasma cutter from job site to job site. At number 2, we have the Cut 50 Plasma Cutter. This heavy-duty plasma cutter from Cut 50 has a cutting ability of up to 1 inch. It's one of the only plasma cutters under $500 that can handle cuts of this thickness, which is a good reason for industrial users to give it a closer look. The key is that this machine runs at 50 amps and can handle voltages up to 230 volts. You'll need an equally heavy duty wiring and outlet to handle this plasma cutter, though, so make sure you have the infrastructure before committing. 
Users found that cuts are extremely clean, but you will have to spend some time experimenting with current and pressure settings to get the exact cuts you want. For how impressive the cutting ability on this unit is, it's not very large. The cutter is designed to be portable and is inverted for safety. One issue to watch out for is that some cut 50 units appear to have an issue with internal air leaks. This was noted by multiple users, who returned their units under the one-year warranty. However, this is an isolated issue, and most users were happy with the cutter's performance. And finally at number 1, we have the Hero Cut Plasma Cutter. The Hero Cut is one of the best small plasma cutters we've come across. It's extremely inexpensive, making it a good choice for metalworkers on a budget and first-time plasma cutter users alike. Better yet, it's extremely portable, this is by far the most lightweight plasma cutter we reviewed. The Hero Cut also uses inverter technology inside to maximize your safety. The cutting ability of the Hero Cut is somewhat limited, at just 0.3 inches. Some users found that it was significantly weaker, but this was a relatively rare complaint. The advantage to the thin cutting ability is that the cutter only needs to be wired to a standard 110 volt outlet to achieve a 0.3 inch depth. Even then, it's able to pull up to 30 amps of current and can sustain a 60% duty cycle, which is on par with much larger plasma cutters. The Hero Cut comes with everything you need for assembly, although users recommended adding a quick disconnect fitting to make connecting to the air compressor easier. You'll also notice that, unlike many competing plasma cutters, it doesn't come with an LCD screen. But, this is mostly unnecessary given that the only control available is the current dial. Thanks you for watching guys, I hope you liked this video if this video is helpful to you. Please make sure like comment and subscribe, if you have any question related to this product you can leave a comment down below. I will get back to you as soon as possible.